Hey guys, so I'm here in my basement um, because this is where I keep all of the kids toys and I wanted to make this video while well, it's still December and hopefully I can get it out semi quickly um, but I wanted to make a video about what I'm getting my kids for Christmas um, maybe you guys need some ideas um, if you're new here I have a four-year-old boy and a two-year-old boy and a baby sister on the way, but I'm not getting her anything for Christmas. Um, but this will ju just be um, things that I'm getting the kids. So I thought I would show you guys what I'm gonna put in their stockings and then also their gifts. So here we go. Okay, one of the things that I got for the kids was this bubble gun. I think I'm gonna give this to my two-year-old Porter. Um, my kids love bubbles. We actually used to have a bubble gun. Um, I got it for like $5 at Target and it lasted us the summer but then it died and just wouldn't work anymore and so I got them a new one and they love it. Both the boys love it but Porter, my two-year-old, is especially into bubbles and the bubble gun. So that is something I'm getting for him. Also for my two-year-old, I got him this Baby Shark sing-along book. Um, I try to get books as much as I can for the kids just because it's educational, helps them with their reading and language. Um, but my two-year-old is also so into Baby Shark right now. I mean, what little kid isn't? Um, and I know my four-year-old Grayson is gonna love this as well, um, but it's just a book and then it has all these buttons and then it plays different Baby Shark songs. I think one of it is like obviously Baby Shark and then it's like, Wheels on the Bus and just other nursery rhymes that are probably like Baby Shark themed. So my kids love watching Baby Shark um, on YouTube videos, so I think he will love this. For my four-year-old, one of the gifts I'm giving him is this Spider-Man toy. So this is the funniest story. Um, I have basically finished shopping for my kids and all of a sudden my four-year-old starts saying every time he's asked that he wants a Spider-Man toy for Christmas. We've gone and seen Santa twice now and both times he's told Santa he wants a Spider-Man toy. Never before the month of December have I heard Spider-Man toy come out of his mouth. Like it totally caught me off guard. We don't have any Spider-Man toys. We don't watch Spider-Man. I mean, my husband and I have seen the movie, but my kids haven't. Apparently they came out with like some TV show, Spidey, Spidey and his amazing friends. I had no idea. I don't know where my son got this idea from. The only thing I can think of is like at preschool they must have a Spider-Man toy or maybe some of his classmates talk about Spider-Man. So anyway, he said he wanted a Spider-Man toy. So I scrambled and had to find a Spider-Man toy. So I got this Lego set um, and it's a Spider-Man toy. It says for four and up. So that's my son's age. It comes with like 59 pieces. So um, up until now he's only had Lego Duplo um, pieces so this will be a little more challenging but he loves Legos and so I think he'll enjoy it it's spider-man and then the Green Goblin I don't even think my son knows about the Green Goblin but I don't know it fits the bill so Santa got him a spider-man toy another gift I got for my two-year-old is this super adorable Encanto karaoke machine. Both of my kids are super into Encanto. It's their favorite Disney movie. It's really like the only one they like right now. Um, and so I guess it plays, we don't talk about Bruno, um, which they both love, especially my two year old. And it'll play with the lyrics and without the lyrics. So, and then it comes with like a mic and you can hear their voice. So I think he'll like that. It's like super girly and like flowers and pink and purple, but my kids won't care. <laughs> Another gift I got for my two year old is this super adorable Coco Melon train. Um, so I guess it just comes with like a track. It says it's two feet and then it comes with a train and I think it plays, yeah, it says it plays the train song and then you can like put things in it and it'll go around. Um, my kids both are super into trains right now and this will be fun that they can like set it up and play with themselves and then the train as actually moves and it looks like the smoke and the train goes around. So I think my kids will love it. Both of them will. I also got this toy for my two year old. Um, it's a jiggle and giggle fishing set. I love VTech toys. I think they're super educational 
um, and really good quality. So I got this um, and they can go fishing and it comes with like a little fishing bowl to put them in so you can keep everything in one spot, which I really like. And then it like plays songs and animals, numbers, colors, and music. So I think it'll be super annoying because it'll sing a million songs, and but my kids will absolutely love it. So we've never had like a fishing toy like this. We have like a bathtub one, but not like a toy toy fishing pool. So I think they'll really like it. For my two year old, I got him a set of Sandra Boynton books. My kids love Sandra Boynton books. I love them too. They're quick, easy reads. Um, they're board books, so they're easy to open, um, and my kids love them. My son, Porter, has um, a couple of them memorized. Grayson used to memorize all of them as well. And we don't have a bunch of these books, so this one comes with Are You a Cow, Dinosaur Dance, But Not the Armadillo, and Happy Hippo, Angry Duck. So I think they'll really enjoy it. We have the But Not the Hippopotamus book and I just found out that they came out with a but not the armadillo so I think my kids will love it because my son Porter the two-year-old loves the but not the hippopotamus book so this will be good um, they love Sandra Boyden books and it's good a good book gift for him my kids are super into um, board games lately both of them mostly my four-year-old but my two-year-old tries to join in and just be there and enjoy it alongside the four-year-old. So I got them this Beware of the Bear game. I guess you like poke his belly and then like eventually after so many pokes it like pops out of the cave. And so I think the kids would love it. It seems like a very easy game, easy to understand. And I think they'll super love like the bear popping out. So I think I got this for my two-year-old, but both of them will like it. And I guess it also comes with a 24 piece puzzle which both my kids love puzzles, so got that. Going along with the Encanto theme, I actually got a couple Encanto toys. This one is the is Antonio's Treehouse, so it comes with Antonio and some animals, and then like you can like play with it and open the door, and there's a hammock and, I don't know, stuff, fun stuff like that. So I thought the kids would love it because they are super into Encanto. I got my kids a Let's Feed the Very Hungry Caterpillar game. They love the Very Hungry Caterpillar book. Um, and so this is a game with it. Um, so it's like a board game and it's like counting. Um, so I thought the kids would really like it. I don't really know much about it. I think it was like $5 because I got it on sale on Black Friday at Meijer. So we'll see if they like this. Another game I got kind of similar to the Beware of the Bear book is the sh Shark Bite game. And so I think, I don't know what you do. You have to try to catch the fish, but every time, like every so often the shark will like chomp and like close its mouth and like get you. So again, with the same like with the bear, like it'll surprise you and pop out and stuff. So I thought the kids would really like it. I got these for my um, four year old, but really I think both the boys could enjoy it. These are magnetic building cubes. So we have magnetiles, which my kids both love, especially my four year old. And so these are magnetic cubes. So I thought this would be kind of fun. Um, to play with I don't know I've not seen this product but it was on Amazon and it was on sale so we'll see what my kids think about it um, we don't really have blocks so I thought this would be like a good introduction like it's magnetic blocks so it's kind of more exciting than just regular blocks so we'll see um, they're called magnetic building cubes so we'll see what they think of these also for my four-year-old I got this Encanto book my four-year-old is reading, he loves books, and um, we were at the library the other day and he really wanted to get this Encanto book and I had forgotten my library card so we couldn't. So I was like, I'm gonna get him an Encanto book that we can just keep at our house. So I guess it's a little golden book, which I didn't even know they made like Encanto books because this company um, like makes the books like the Pookie Little Puppy. So I was shocked that they made an Encanto book. It's not as thick as I was hoping it would be, but hopefully my son will like it. I'm super excited about this toy. I think my kids are really gonna like this. It's a marble run with Legos. So we got a marble run a while ago, but it was Magnetile Marble Run. 
and it is so hard to put together it's so flimsy my son gets super frustrated with it even like adults have a hard time putting it together so it was kind of a fail <laughs> um, but this one is Lego um, marble runs and I guess it comes with like different setups that you can do and different changes so I thought my son my four-year-old would really really enjoy this because he loves Legos and then also he's been really wanting to create a marble run so we'll see how he likes this but I think this would be really fun it's called I don't even know upgrade marble run trek building blocks um, by Kuo Moksa I don't know I've never heard of that company but hopefully it's good <laughs> I got this four pack of puzzles for my kids, mostly my four year old because they're a little advanced for the two year old. Um, some of them come with 36 pieces and some of them come with 48 pieces. Um, and they're by the brand Chuckle and Roar, which is like Target's toy brand. I love Chuckle and Roar toys. I think they're awesome quality. And so I thought my son would really like it, especially this first one is a map of the United States. And my son Grayson is so into states right now. And um, so I thought he would really like it. And we need some new puzzles because we haven't gotten them in a while. So anyway, I got this for my four-year-old. My son was talking about how he wanted more of the PJ Mask figurines. Right now we only have Catboy and Romeo, one of the villains. We don't have the other two heroes, Owlette and Gecko. And so when I saw this toy at Meyer, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to get it because it comes with all the characters. So we'll have two Romeo and two Catboys now. And then it also comes with two more villains. I don't know what their names are. Night Ninja and I don't know what that guy's name is. And then PJ Robot. So I thought my kids would really like that. So now they have all the characters. It's not like that exciting. Like there's not much like a vehicle or anything that you can do, but I guess each person comes with like accessories that you can put on and off. So hopefully the kids will like to play with these. I got this toy for my two year old. I think he's really gonna enjoy it. It's a ultimate corkscrew tower. Um, and so you like build these towers and the cars like race down them. Um, and I guess there's two layouts. It's like the short one and then there's this tall one where it goes down five levels. And so my son, my two year old Porter, loves playing with cars and so I think even Grayson is gonna like this toy too. Um, again, it's another VTech toy, so I love this brand and I think they're gonna love playing, racing the cars and building the track and I think they're gonna absolutely love this toy. So this is kind of my splurge toy for my two-year-old, kind of like his big gift, I guess, if you want to call it that. Um, Cause this was like $35 on Amazon. They're so expensive. But this is a washing sink. I don't know if you've seen these, but like I've seen them all over Instagram and all the kids love them. And basically it's a sink, a toy sink, and you can just wash and play with dishes. And the cool thing about it is that it just constantly runs water. So like there's always water coming out of the sink and it just like recycles the same water. But my son Porter just loves playing in the sink faucet. And so now this is like one that he can actually play with. And I think especially in the summer, like it'll be a good outdoor toy to play with. Um, but anyway, I just thought he would just love this. Even though it says three and up, um, this is totally my two-year-old, like totally up his alley. So we'll see if my kids like it as much as I've seen other kids enjoy this toy. Another Coco Melon toy I got for my two-year-old. It's a musical yellow play bus and it sings the Wheels on the Bus song. Um, it's basically just like a pop-up um, tent of a what is that called, a school bus. Um, but my kids love playing in tents. We have like a little um, pop-up tunnel that they love to play in. And so now this is like a school bus and it's got Coco Melon and it sings the song. So I think my kids will really enjoy playing with this toy. Um, mostly the two-year-old, but I think my four-year-old will as well. Another Encanto toy I got, not as big as the Antonio's house, but this is um, Mirabelle and Julieta, like in her kitchen. And I guess you can like, play with the food and make things move and stuff. So I got this for my four year old cause he's super into Encanto like I said. I got this um, kids Monopoly toy for my four year old. So we have a super old version of Monopoly. It was like my husband's grandma's version. So it's like super old, but my son Grayson is obsessed 
my four-year-old, obsessed of, with playing with Monopoly. He calls it Monopoly. Um, and I was at the store the other day and I saw that they come with a kid's version of Monopoly. Monopoly Discover, and it's for ages four and up. So it's perfect age for my son. And so I got it because now he can actually put, play Monopoly and like we don't have to dumb it down for him. We can actually like play the real version of it. So hopefully it's not too hard to understand and hopefully he loves it, but he's super into board games right now. So I think he's gonna love playing with this game and then he can leave the uh, super ancient Monopoly game alone um, and not destroy it because my kids destroy all the board games they get a hold of. Um, I got my kids this Pete the Cat pizza pie game. They like Pete the Cat. They have, we have like two Pete the Cat books. And so when they came out with a board game, I was like, oh, that sounds like a lot of fun. Um, so I guess you're like trying to get different ingredients to put in your pizza. So I don't know, again, it was like $5 at Meijer. Um, on Black Friday, so if they hate it, it was only $5, but I think maybe they'll like it. I guess we'll see. Okay, we are coming to the end here. Um, last two toys I have for my kids. For my two-year-old, I got them him this writing tablet. Really, it's for both of them because they both enjoy playing with the writing tablet. Um, we actually had a writing tablet, not this brand. It was like a Chuckle and Roar brand, and it broke, or the battery stopped working. I didn't know how to replace the battery, so we threw it away. So I got them a new one, and I think they're really gonna like it. They both enjoy writing and playing with their write-on tablet, so I think that was like a super easy gift. It was like $7 on Amazon. And then the final gift I have for my four-year-old <laughs> It's such a nerdy gift, but it's like such his personality. I got him a children's illustrated atlas. I think I would never want this toy as a kid, um, but I bet you my husband would have, and my four-year-old is so like my husband. Um, and so it's an illustrated atlas. It goes through all the different countries. Um, it's by the Smithsonian, so it's like legit. Um, just gives you different facts, um, history, resources, just all different kinds of things. And so I just thought my son would really enjoy this. He has a, um, he has a couple puzzles. He has a USA puzzle. He's got a continent puzzle, but I think he's always wanting to learn about all the different countries of the world, um, the states. And so I just thought he would really enjoy this book. Um, so we'll see, it might be a little advanced for him. He can read. Um, which is impressive for a four-year-old, but it is a lot, like it's a thick book, it's a lot of pages. But I think eventually like it's something he could grow into and I don't know, it just seems really up his alley. So I'm really excited about this gift. I actually learned about, I didn't even know like something like this existed. I found out about it on Busy Toddler. Um, it was one of her suggested gifts. And I was like, you know what? My son would actually really like this book. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that's all the gifts I have for my kids. And then I'll do stocking stuffers real quick. So for my stocking stuffers, I got the kids some new Hot Wheel car toys. Um, they love Hot Wheel cars. This one has like cool um, looking ones. One's like a shark and its mouth opens and stuff. So anyway, just more toy cars to play with. My son Grayson likes building a Hot Wheels five level car garage with his magnetiles. So this is just more cars to go in his garage. And my other son Porter just likes to just zoom them all over the carpet and stuff. So they're both gonna love these. I got one for each of the boys. Um, these are color wonder toys where you just color it. Um, these are like color blast. So they're like Melissa and Doug version, but same thing. Um, you just color it with the marker and it comes out different um, colors even though it's just like one marker. I love these toys because they are mess free. Um, they only color and make damage on the papers. If you color them anywhere else, it doesn't show up. So I love these kind of toys. Of course, I had to get my kids candy, but I wanted to make sure I got them candy that I would like to eat too in case they didn't want to eat it themselves. Um, my two-year-old is a candy monster. My four-year-old saw not so much in spurts. Um, so I got them two um, Skittle candy canes because I love Skittles and my husband likes Skittles too. So we will enjoy these just as much as the kids do. Also candy themed, my kids love suckers. Mostly my two year old, but my four year old does too. And so these are little like sucker holders. I got these last year in the stocking stuffers for my kids. And basically like it comes with the suckers and then you unwrap the sucker and then you put it in this holder. And then the head like closes around it to keep it like from sticking everywhere. Um, so it's actually really cool. So I got a Rudolph one and a Santa Claus one. 
so the kids would love that. Last thing to put in their stockings, I got them two books, because um, we can't ever get enough books. Um, it's called Don't Shake the Present and Don't Push the Button. I've heard about these books. Uh, I think they're really good, and they made them like tiny version. They were like in the cheap section at Meyer. so I was like, oh my gosh, these are perfect. So more books for the kids, so I think they'll like those. So there you have it. That's all the things I'm getting for my kids. I'm spoiling them this year, getting them so much stuff. They are gonna love it. Um, they keep talking about how they can't wait for Christmas, can't wait to get their presents. So they deserve it. They're the cutest little kids and they're gonna love all their toys. So anyway, um, I also got gifts for my husband, Anthony, but I already wrapped them. But I got him a new monitor for his work so he can have multiple screens. And I also got him a 3D printer because he's been wanting that for a while now. And I got him a new game for him and I to play. So every year I get my husband a um, board game that he and I can play for like date night in. Since we have kids, we don't get out a lot. And um, every year I get a new game to add to our collection. So that's what I did. I think it was something unicorns, exploding unicorns. I'm, I've heard of it, never played it, but my sister Allison said it was really good. So hopefully he likes it. But anyway, that's it. I'm gonna put all these toys back in my secret hideout now <laughs> so the kids don't see. I need to wrap them now, but I was wanting to do this video first before I wrap them so I could show you guys everything and give you some ideas. So um, let me know what you guys think down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are getting all your Christmas shopping done during this holiday season. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.